Tomorrow, we, of course, observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and we celebrate his work and his legacy. There are so many different events happening across the city this weekend to honor him, and many of them are at the Brooklyn Children's Museum. Joining me now to talk about how they are celebrating is the museum's president and CEO, Ativa Edwards. Welcome back to the show. Thank you A for having friend me. of the show, I will point out, Ativa was interim president and CEO when you were last year. And now you got the job, so congratulations. I just want to thank you guys for the letter of reference. Yeah. You know? <laughs> An appearance on New York One, and there you go. <laughs> it's all in the can. But but seriously, though, such a feat for you, because you were the first black man in the museum's history to have that title. So particularly leading into tomorrow, what does that mean to you to be bringing these educational programs to children? Um, it's a sense of representation and really thinking through the human race as this continual relay race that it's on us to pass a baton so I can now pass a baton to many after and help inspire some future folks to do what I did and also do even more. And that's the goal of these events, right? So talk about uh, why it is so important to teach. We'll get into some of the specific things that you're doing, but why it's so important to teach them about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., uh, this programming that you have in place, the impact that you hope it makes. It's really important because, you know, you think about the generations that preceded us they've taught us and really the notion of passing on through teaching, passing on, more importantly, through involving. Um, it's one thing to know, but it's even better to do. We just want to keep that because when we're long gone, our children will be around and their children will be around and the world will be different. We want them to make sure and remember the importance of civil rights, equity, justice. So we have to involve children now so that when they grow up, they can involve their children and then continue passing that baton on because we have our own stake in place to help make sure the world's a much better place. And the way that you involve children, it's not just opening up a textbook and reading. Right. You really get them involved. Some of the events, uh, one of them includes a protest workshop. Yeah. They're actually making signs as if they are going to a protest. Yeah, they'll be led by Grammy-nominated artist Fuch. He's been doing programming with us for a couple of years, and it's really... A fun opportunity for children to protest the things that mean the most to them and fire them up. They see protests happening all around them on TV in their neighborhood, but now they can actually really, I would say, plant the seed for civic engagement now. And, you know, they get their protest posters and they're really marching, chanting, singing songs. And what's been beautiful is you see how children naturally gravitate to work with each other. Mm. Um, any individual th cause theme might get put on one protest poster, so instead of one person doing it, they now have a group of children who sometimes just met that day and are marching through the museum. So it's really fun to see how children are, are somewhat unjaded and can really push what we should be doing as humanity. They see that power in numbers and the power of coming together. A puppet show as well. Yeah, uh, we have an artist named Nefri who's doing a puppet show inspired by Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King's speech, uh, What's Your Life's Blueprint? which was a speech he gave to some students in Philly. So we felt it's really fitting that he is teaching the students to really put themselves number one and deem themselves worthy, but also strive, uh, strive for excellence. And with this workshop, children get to make their puppets, learn about that, and then also have a chance to perform as well. So really, always about involving children. And they have a chance to volunteer, which is so important to civic engagement as well. Oh yeah, they'll be doing a, a volunteer project with Repair the World. And again, we just want to plant the seeds now. If we can inspire children to really take part in these beautiful parts of our life and our society, volunteering, civic engagement, valuing yourself. Time and time again, that's what's going to help make our world a better place. It'll plant the seeds for them in the future if they have a passion for this, like you said, something they care about. Uh, Atiba, congrats again on the job. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Great to see you. The Brooklyn Children's Museum always doing such great work. Appreciate you for having us here.